A large part of how we respond to situations that we experience in our lives depends on the autonomic nervous system. It's a system that overlooks a lot of the involuntary bodily functions that we experience. There's two branches to the autonomic nervous system, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is aroused by stress and danger, and it releases a hormone called adrenaline into the body, which helps to prepare the body to either fight or run away from the threat. And we know this as the fight or flight response. The parasympathetic nervous system, on the other hand, is responsible for helping us feel relaxed and calm after a threat has passed. And it does this through releasing anti-stress hormones into the body. After a traumatic event, our body doesn't always recover quickly, and so our autonomic nervous system can be triggered quite easily, causing us to go into fight or flight mode. And this can happen even just by remembering what happened to us. Over time, if the autonomic nervous system is constantly triggered, it becomes highly hyper aroused and dysregulated to the point that just something reminding us of the trauma can cause a trauma response. A bit like a burglar alarm going off just by someone walking past as opposed to an actual burglar. An example of this could be someone who was assaulted and just them walking past the place where the assault took place could be enough for the autonomic nervous system to be triggered, causing that fight or flight response. So as you can see, how our autonomic nervous system reacts and responds to things that happen to us is very much linked to whether we go on to develop trauma or not. All of this is taken from my new booklet, Understanding Trauma, which is available to download for free very soon.